Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Fay Farm on Nintendo Switch. We are kind of still on the first day. Um, we've just got to our homestead, which is pretty cool. We're learning how to farm. We've actually planted a few seeds and even built a campfire. It's really cool. We've been harvesting materials. Um, started our first lot of crops and we're getting to know the area. This is our farm here So uh, the best thing I like about this game so far is it kind of pulls out the tools for you if we want to um, Chop some wood or something it pulls out the axe it pulls out uh, the pickaxe for the stones and all this good stuff um, We do have to keep an eye on our uh, health and stamina though or our energy but yeah, we're still meeting people, so I think we're going to head down to... We have to meet Eddie now. Oh, how do we catch the butterfly? That's one thing I haven't worked out yet, is how to catch bugs. I don't know if we can. I think we can. Anyway, let's uh, head down to meet Eddie, the marina, all the way in kind of the southwest of the town there. So pretty far away from our homestead. Hopefully it's easy to get to. Oh, found a scroll! <laughs> Discovered a recipe. Pink checkered rug. Nice. We can craft all kinds of things as well. Oh, the town music! It's very magical. It just feels. It just feels good. Oh wait, can we buy scrolls from here? Charles! Ah, vicarious reader who prefers fiction and mysteries. It's time to cast your line for white perch, river cod, and salmon. Oh, open shop. Oh, cool. So we can buy all kinds of wallpapers from Charles. Mostly in a bookshelf. Except it looks like we need some coins, and we don't have many coins. We're going to have to start selling things, I believe. Undiscovered item. Nice. Very cute. I can't wait to check out this town more. Anyway, let's let's keep on with the quests. We are slowly tracking Eddie. Yeah, you have like a little kind of almost like a compass on screen and it is pointing in the direction of Eddie. What did this say? No shipping contracts today due to whirlpools. Okay, we must be going the wrong way. Have we gone out to the... Oh, we're on the docks. Okay, so we need to go kind of to the west of town here. Can we jump down here? Whoa! Oh, look! We're finding scrolls everywhere. Uh, discovered aqua woven rug. Nice. I do find the jump a little bit strange. But I will just say, the, the physics of the jump is a little bit off. But it, it probably goes with the, the kind of the magic of the world. It's a little bit different. Um, it's, it feels like we're on the moon, but it's cool. I'm not complaining. It just feels a little bit not how you would expect. Ahoy, we found Eddie. My first ship was Sandy and she was just a wee boat. Probably settled near Davy Jones' locker after a catfish clawed a hole in her side. Oh. Uh, my favorite fish? Wait, how do we meet you. Um, once caught a tuna was too big, it nearly swallowed my ship with me on it. Fed a whole town for a week. That must have been a, a big tuna. Okay, so Eddie has a shop as well. We're going to have to try and remember all of this. So I reckon Eddie's going to be selling fish. I can see a bucket of fish behind him there. But let's redeem a quest. Meeting the neighbours. Uh, yeah, I guess the first few hours are going to be quite long just getting to know the land, introducing yourself to the locals. Good to see you, May Marie. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie, Azoria's old marina. Hmm. Or is it marina or mariner? Hmm. I hear you've got a little farm going. I won't hold that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. Oh, really? I thought they were kind of like, they, would sh they share an industry, don't they, I suppose? Never mind that, you haven't lived until you've fished. Believe me, give me the sea over the trees any day. How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of the rod and reel? Hot dog, I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. All right, go out there and catch a fish, any kind you like, salt or fresh water. I'll give you my old rod. May it serve you well. Oh, so we have to obtain the rod first. That's cool. Look at it. It's very cute. Uh, press L or R to change equipment. Oh, so we can change equipment as well. So it doesn't always bring it out automatically then. I'm guessing for harvesting resources it does, but maybe for catching bugs and fish and things, 
you have to change your equipment yourself. Now hold out the rod and cast it uh, so your bobber lands near the mouth of a fish. Then you reel it in a bit at a time, not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. Um, and when the fish is bitten, you get to reel in fast. Not all at once though, if your line turns red, it's ready to break. Best stop uh, for a moment until it turns white again. This this sounds tricky. <laughs> Keep it up. With a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and come and tell me about it. Okay, so we've got to go and catch a fish. I like the way you have to hold A to accept the quest as well. Uh, sometimes we like button mashing to get through a conversation. Um, and then you accidentally might accept or decline something. So having to hold that down just for two seconds, really good. It's like, is that a little baby shark or something? Okay, how do we... Oh, okay. Uh, how do we cast this? Okay, hold A to charge. Oh, wait, it's a sword. Is that a sword? No, it looked like a sword for a second there. Okay, jiggle the lure. Yes. Okay, go quick, 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 quick. It's getting away from us. My thumb is aching. Go quicker. Oh, hold A. Okay, I don't have to button mash. There we go. Relax. Hold. Well, this is really hard. It's quite therapeutic, though. We did it. But our fishing rod literally looks like a sword, doesn't it? Uh, we caught a salmon. Nice. Okay, this is cool. Ah, so we can walk around with our fishing rod if we want to. But then we can change to our automatic uh, material harvester. Sand dollar, I recognize that shell. Ammonite, we got some fossils on the beach here. I'm going to clear all these in case they spawn back in. It might be good to have some in our pockets. How do we catch this little crab? Oh, it's going in the rocks. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> I think we need a net. There we go. We're going to pick up all the fossils as well. So cool. We're getting the hang of it. Oh, there's another scroll here. A squid vase. Ahoy! There's no lack of things to do on this here island. You'll never be bored. Okay, open shop. Oh, so we can buy more fishing rods. So we need to upgrade our fishing rods to get rarer fish, it looks like. So we need to... Uh, oh, we have to raise our fishing ability as well. And, whoa, 5,000 coins. We're really going to have to start making uh, some items and, and cooking things and selling them. Right, let's uh, show him our salmon. Ah, I see you've done well for yourself, Mayamori. Tell me how the fishing went. Well done, my friend. You're on the way to becoming a marine master. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day, like I did. Aha, so you were a farmer many moons ago. But enough of that. I told you all I can. I see you've grown from a, a minnow to a sardine. Oh. I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. Mel, the beekeeper, can teach you about critter catching. Oh, finally. That's that's what we want to do. Because then we can go and catch that crab and the butterfly and things like that. And you're going to want to pay attention to that. Okay, we're going to accept that quest. Are we, are we going to remember all of these names? Can we go inside their house? No, not at the moment. Okay, so to get the... To find... Oh, it's in the west. Let's go find Mel. Put the tracker on there and we can find our way to Mel. What's the best way to go here? We we'll climb up these rocks. I guess that is one benefit of the moon jump. Yep. We can jump quite high. <laughs> oh! The glowing cave! Interesting. It is really, really pretty here, isn't it? The, the aesthetics are... It's just perfect for this game, and it really helps create that atmosphere. What is this? Okay, I think we need to go upstairs. It's a bit quiet, though. Where's the music? Hmm. Ooh, bees! Hey, Mel. Nice to meet you. Ah, there you are. It feels good when the weather gets warmer. 
a new face. When I heard someone washed up on shore, I could hardly believe it. Oh. I also see a scroll behind the bees. I wonder if it's like something to do with honeycombs. May and more, yeah? It's nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover in your boot to have made it past the whirlpools. Oh. I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. I've been uh, so long since we've had some new on the island. The bees have been a buzz about it. Oh, I get, this, this Mel is crazy about bees. Uh, you moved into the abandoned farm? Wonderful! Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters here in Azoria. Azoria is a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us uh, uh, Azorians by a wide margin. But don't worry about the critters how the critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. Here, I've always got an extra net just in case. Thank you. Everyone's so jealous around here. Tom Nook would be making us buy these nets. I'm just saying. Okay, of course we have to change our equipment using Eleanor. Equip your net and swing it to catch a critter to improve your chances. Ready your net and approach the critter slowly. Why don't you take a couple of swings at catching a few critters, then come back and show me. I just know you're going to catch a critter catching, uh, you're going to be, a, no, you're a critter catching bug, sorry. Uh, okay. Oh, there's oodles of fascinating critters. Okay, let's get our net out. Here we go. Can we catch some bees? I don't think we can catch the bees. <laughs> it would be a bit cruel to catch uh, Mel's bees. A clay brick path. Nice, we can we're, we can lay some paths and stuff. Arugula. A ladder here. Ooh, this place is just full of mystery. What's this? Oh, some stamina. Random stamina. Is there a clock? Are we on a date? Are we on a timer or something? Can't see a in in-game clock, but it is getting darker. It looks like, unless it's just. Uh, Hey, we got a firefly. Unless it's just uh, because we're in kind of a wooded area, maybe we're just doing some exploring. Now. Whoa! Okay. Oh, there's places that we can't go yet. I want to go and catch that crab. Whoa! What's going on here? We're running back down to the beach. Where's that crab gone? Oh, it's not here anymore! Oh, we can fill up our watering can by jumping in the water. That's so clever! At least I think that's what it's doing. Let's get our watering... Actually, can we get our watering can out? We can't, can we? Um, where's our items? I think it's full just by going in the water. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna get some more mussels. I was hoping there was another fish here. Uh, sorry, another crab here. Oh, is our pockets are full. We need to go and put some pockets stuff in our storage. Oh, the, this sickle isn't strong enough. I've graded it to cut this. Oh, okay. Okay, I was hoping to find a crab, but we... Whoa! We can't catch it anyway. Um, so can we run back to our homestead? Whoa! We, this is a shortcut! Ooh! Oh! Oh, it disappeared. We nearly catched a frog! Or caught a frog, should I say. Here we go. So if we could water these every day. They look... Uh, like they've been watered. Um, no, we don't want to do any construction at the moment. Maybe they don't need watering because it should bring it out automatically. Okay, we're going to go and put some stuff in our storage shed. Probably things we don't need at the moment. Uh, move. Oh no, wait, move. There we go. Is there a quick way to do this? Uh, transfer. Oh, there we go. We can just press L. This is so good. Move. Move. Pretty much everything we're just going to store until we need it, I think. Um, there we go. 
we'll probably have to upgrade our storage at some point. But we just press L to transfer our stuff across. We'll keep some berries on us in case we need to get some energy. Can you hear the owls? <gasps> A snail! We're sneaking. We're sneaking! <laughs> they might only come out at night, so we're going to grab them now. The firefly. What was that? Another scroll! We're just finding all the discoveries today. Uh, green checkered rug. Nice. Um... Oh, it's disappeared. That was our chance again. <laughs> a wizard mob. Those things are so creepy. Look at them. <laughs> Blue checker right. We're finding all of the scrolls today. <laughs> Clay path. How do we get up this little mountain? <laughs> Decorative bucket. So it's only for decoration then. These lanterns are cute. I kind of wish we could take one. Oh, we can't go that way yet. There's there's obviously lots to open up, which is cool. Uh, we'll find out later. Is there another frog over here? Come back here, frog. It's hard to catch them. There we go. We have, oh, critter catching level two. Uh, plus catching efficiency. We had to wait for it to do like three or four bounces and then you swipe. So timing was key on that one. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so we're supposed to be going back to Mel now that we've caught some critters. Oh, look at this uh, birdhouse. This was an item from the pre-order bonus, uh, which I forgot to get. Are these snails stacking? Um, how do we get our inventory up? There we go. Oh, they are stacking. That's so useful. That saves a lot of space. I can't wait to meet all these people properly and talk to them. What's this? Use. Huh? Oh. Oh, we can put things on the table. Oh wait, items will sell at the end of the day. Oh, uh, so we can make some money like that by leaving things on the table. And then this is kind of an open market. Like one of those trust markets where you just put things down and people will buy them if they want them and leave the money, I guess. Can we get over here? Take a shortcut onto the roof. Whoa! See, I knew there was a benefit of this space jump. Hey, Mel. Good to see you. When spring comes, I feel like uh, the muses are decorating the world with blossoms. Careful catching. And we leveled up as well. Well, how did that feel? Nice, right? You can keep the net. You've got a great technique. I can see you becoming an avid critter catcher. Remember, critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to the conservatory. Uh, or con con yeah, conservatory, but that's for later. Oh, okay. Uh, the mayor said not to overwhelm you. Okay. What's a conservatory? You know, there are many critter collectors on the island. If you catch a critter, you could always sell it. There's always someone in Azoria who's looking to buy. You can sell just about anything, really. And then you'll earn florins. Uh, the local currency, if no one told you. Well, selling things is really Pearl's specialty. She's the chairwoman of the Merchant's Guild. It sounds so formal. She's kind of a big deal around here. I'm sure she would love to tell you about this thing she's uh, about selling things. You can find her in the town center marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting with you, Mayor Mori. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to go meet Pearl, the chairwoman. I'm all about catching snails, though. I'm not going to lie. It seems like... Oh, there's lots of berries as well. How do we... There we go. We have to swap to our automatic tool, which just brings out, like, the... Being able to pluck the... 
resources. So you have kind of the fishing rod, the net, or the, what we're calling the automatic tool. And does this stuff all grow back? I hope so, because we don't want to clear the entire land and then suddenly we need some. Foraging! Level three, nice. So we just have to keep picking things. These will all come in handy later on. We should probably plant some more turnips. A hay bale, nice. Okay, let's go and meet the uh, chairwoman, I suppose. Oh, another firefly. Kind of just want to forage. Uh, the big jumps are making sense the more I run around this place. Yeah. It feels a bit more natural after we've walked around a little bit. Uh, right, the best way to meet the next person is to... Bring up the quests. And then... Oh, I've pinned it. I've forgotten how to do it. Um, how did I track it? There we go. So you just, you go to the map, you select the person that you're looking for in the tracker, and then it brings up a compass. Oh, we're totally the wrong direction. Whoa. It's all awfully quiet here. It's quite peaceful. There's literally no background noise. Oh, now we've got we've got the town uh, town music now. Hello, yeah. oh, hello, hello. Uh, spring is the best time of year. It feels like everything is nature is coming back to life. Okay, I guess it's going to be a lot of this at the start, as as most kind of like RPGs or like farming life sim games. You have to meet everybody, get to know your way around, get used to the mechanics of the game. Uh, but this is still good fun. We're learning a lot. It's just having, we're just going to have to try and remember everything. Hello, fellow entrepreneur. You must be Mayor Mori. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, the head of the Merchant's Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets that you'd like to get rid of. Am I right? What if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold, hard florins? It's true. You can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Uh, well, in the market, and the money isn't deposited automatically. Now is the time for your questions. It's time to learn. Pay attention, because what I'm going to say may change your life. Everything in Azoria sells. Everything. Plant fibers, sold. Clay, sold. Spring pep, uh, peeper, sold. And it's so easy, a, ch a chiku could do it. See, in the middle of the market are tables. You put something on those tables, and by the next morning, it's sold. That is such a great concept. Um, a mechanic. I know what you're wondering, who is buying everything? Don't worry about it, Azoria simply has a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems alike. That's why I have a pillow that says, one Azoria's inventory is another's resources. Try putting a few things on the marketplace table to sell them. May and Merit will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Find her when you're done. Okay, so wait, uh, place, oh it said place anything on the market table and produce stand. Uh, or produce stand, just make sure there's at least three. Okay. Um, so again, we automatically press A. It knows what we're doing, bringing up stuff. Let's plant some... Or <laughs> plant. Let's place some berries. Um, and a snail. And a tea leaf. Quest ready. Okay, done. How do we go back? There we go, and it's done automatically. There it is, look! We're, we've, we've got stuff there ready to sell. Oh, we have to meet Merit's right here, hey! Uh -huh. Do we? Can we call you Merit, or is that too informal? Do we have to call you Mayor Merit? Um, hello there! Azoria is the better for having you! Um, new recipe, iced tea, green tea, and beverage station. Ooh, yeah, it's a little bit laggy, I will say, on some of the more ambitious animations and, like, particles and that. And I think it's just because I'm playing on an old Switch. Like, a six-year-old Switch. Um, it's one of the launch Switches, so it might be... That might be the reason. 
Uh, but it's, it doesn't affect the gameplay as such. Oh, we've got a new energy bar. So market results, day two, spring, year one. Farming, foraging, critter catching. Oh, mining, fishing. There's lots we can still learn. A new day has begun. Um, done reviewing. So, have we got a clock now? Chapter two, a thorny problem. Oh, we, we might find out now what the, the issue is with the thorns, maybe. Oh, we have a clock now. There we go. So this, I don't know, I feel a, a little bit pressure when we have a clock. It's counting up time pretty quickly. It's like a minute a second, actually. Um, so we really have to kind of get out there and do things. But I think we'll save that for the next episode. So we've kind of gotten into things now. We've met a few people. We've, we understand how to catch bugs, catch fish. Uh, we understand our menus a little better. We do have a, that must be a, I don't know what that little cloud timer is. Probably to do with the thorns, maybe. Um, but we actually have a, a clock as well. So we're on year one, day two, in the spring. So, yeah, we'll find out more tomorrow. We'll do some more. Um, maybe we'll plant some more turnips and things like that. We might even be able to harvest them, but we'll check that out tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. If you'd like us to continue playing through Faith Farm on this channel, let me know um, uh, if you're interested, of course, and we'll continue doing it. I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know if you're playing as well, and let me know some of the secrets you've already discovered. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to the channel members as well for supporting this content. I hope you're enjoying this as well, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!